Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our Dope Discussions. Today, we will be highlighting something that I know that a lot of you females will look back on and be highly regretful about. And that thing that a lot of you females will look back on and be highly disappointed in yourself about, highly regretful and remorseful about, will be that man that you let get away. Oh, yes. See, a lot of women today really don't understand just how lucky, just how much of a luxury or a privilege it is to have a man in your life that genuinely cares about you, that loves you, that has your back, and is just not looking at you like a piece of meat, right? So many of you females are so used to men just dogging you out that when you do come across a good thing, a good man, a good stable relationship, you can't handle it. You run away from it. You flee from it. You feel like, oh, you know, something has to be wrong. Something has to be off. A lot of you females are looking for things that are toxic to bring some sort of excitement or fulfillment into your lives. And boy, oh boy, are y'all setting yourselves up for the ultimate regret. I'm going to share my screen with you all, and I'm going to show you just how reckless a lot of these females can be, careless a lot of these females can be when it comes to fumbling a good man. They don't understand just how much of a setup for failure that they are uh, putting themselves into until it's too damn late until you're older until life is whooping your ass and now you're begging and pleading for a man a man that you could have had to be a part of your life i'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and let's get into this if you could say something to your ex right now, what would it be? Oh, um, I hope you're good. He was like, he was amazing, actually. He was an amazing guy. He was amazing. Yeah. Then why you lost feelings? I'm amazing. He just, he just wasn't it for me, but he's a really good guy. Amazing. Do y'all hear that? He just wasn't it for me, but he was a really amazing guy. He was a really good guy, but he was not somebody for me. Now, let me also put this out there. All right. A lot of these females that do this to the upstanding great men out there, they're actually doing you men a favor. OK, they really are by letting you free and not wasting your time. It frees you up to uh, be able to explore different and better options. But ladies. Listen up. When you let these men free, these good men, when you let them go free and they go and explore different and better options, do not come running your ass back. Mm -mm. Do not come uh, traveling back into his life, you know, with, with your hand out talking about, oh, I'm sorry. Can you help me? I need you. Don't do it. Because a lot of you fumble a great thing and then when you see somebody else with it then you want to clean up your act then you want to do better then you want to do right by these men and honestly it's it's too late and like i just said you all are really doing these men a favor by letting them go because you are essentially exposing the fact that you are a toxic woman any individual man or woman that would say oh this person was great. This person was amazing. This person really uh, cared about me, looked out for me, had my back, and then to turn around and say, oh, they just weren't for me. Yeah, something is off with you. Something is wrong with you, okay? Because if you have somebody that is meeting all of your qualities and all of your standards, and you have it something within you that is telling you, oh, um, well, it's not for me, that means that maybe you're not a great person. Maybe you're not an amazing person. Maybe you are not somebody that will have somebody's back, which is why something internally within you is repelling that person away from you. So again, 
do some self-reflecting. And also, fellas, if you have ran into this problem with a female to where you were a great guy and she just felt like something was off or wrong with you and she just didn't want you, good. Okay? She saved you a whole lot of heartache, a whole lot of uh, time that could have been potentially wasted, energy, effort, you know, because after all, she's letting you know, um, yeah, I don't want a real quality man. So you're essentially wasting all of your good deeds and good efforts on me. So again, it's a good thing. Blessings in disguise. Absolutely. Amazing guy. What can men do to avoid a situation like that? They're amazing guys. Really they do everything right. You can do. Like, it's just like your feelings. Like, there's absolutely nothing. He can treat you like a queen and be the best guy ever. But, like, you just, I don't know. You, you can't do that? There's nothing. Yeah. Now, he asked, what can men do? to avoid situations like that to where you're doing everything right for a woman and you're amazing and you're a great guy. And you know, this woman just does not see the value in you or just does not want you. What can a man do to um, prevent such a situation from transpiring? And she went ahead and said, like, it's nothing you can do about it. And I think that's very important that she did say that. Because it's a lot of guys out there that would beat themselves up, questioning themselves like, dang, you know, what was it about me that was off? What was it about me that was wrong? What could I have done better to place myself into a better position so where she would accept me and she would want me and she would love me and she would like me? And that's the thing, fellas. It's nothing you can do. I'm going to go out here and, and I'm going to put it plain. Excuse my language. Okay, but if a bitch ain't shit, she's not shit. It has nothing to do with you, right? You can be the perfect gentleman, but if she's somebody that is in search of toxicity, if she's somebody that is immature, if she's somebody that does not recognize or realize your value, there's nothing you can do to make her see such a thing. All you can do is bow out gracefully and wish her luck, okay? But beating yourself up, questioning yourself, questioning your value, it's a waste of time. Trying to uh, spoil her into loving you and liking you back, waste of time. Do you all know how many times I've seen guys, you know, go above and beyond for a woman that did not like them, that did not want them, all because he was trying to make her see his value. Oh, well, I'm doing this. And the guys that you usually go after, they don't do this for you. You know, I'm pouring into you. You never had a guy like me to pour into you like this. So, I mean, let me do this so that you can see I'm all you need. And it does not matter. If a bitch ain't shit, she ain't shit. Okay. She don't want you. It don't matter how much uh, money you have. It don't matter how nice you are. It doesn't matter um, how much you care about her. It doesn't matter how many gifts you get. A lot of these females are looking for a certain type of man. I'm sorry. Let me correct myself. A lot of these females are looking for a certain type of a male. And when you come across her, and she comes across you and she sees that you are a man and not a male, something within her is thrown completely off because she has not matured. She has not blossomed. She has not grown. And so again, it's nothing that you can do about it. But here's the thing, ladies, I understand that if the feelings are just not there, they're just not there. And it's nothing that you can do to force it and make it be, right? But all that I'm saying is this. Be careful. Because a lot of y'all always turn around and look back and say, you know what? He really was a great catch. I really could have seen myself with him. You know, um, I was blocking my feelings from developing for him and growing for him because he was not meeting some superficial quality or standard 
that I was looking for. Right. So let's go there for a second. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. The problem that a lot of females will run into is they will look back and say, damn, the reason why I did not develop any feelings for that guy is because I didn't allow myself to develop feelings for that guy. Right. I instantaneously pushed him away shut it down. Why? Because he wasn't a bad boy, right? Why? Because he wasn't this height or he didn't dress like this or he didn't have this car or, you know, he didn't treat me in a particular manner. And so you instantly just shut down any possibility of uh, allowing a relationship to blossom or grow, right? And then once you realize your mistakes, you realize your faults and flaws. You realize that it could have been something beautiful. It could have it could have blossomed and developed into something uh, that was of substance, uh, that was uh, quality, that was balanced, that was healthy, that could have thrived. But by that time, it's like he's moved on, or you're just not what he's looking for. You know. So again, ladies, I want you all to be honest with yourselves. I want you all to do self-reflecting and ask yourself, am I not having feelings for this man because I'm purposefully blocking those feelings from progressing and developing because I'm looking for, you know, some type of male? Am I looking for some type of dysfunction, some type of toxic treatment? Is that why these feelings are not there for this great man? Or is it something that I just don't have any control over? And, you know, I just don't like them. It's just not there because that's that happens, you know, and I get that. But a lot of y'all purposefully are blocking your blessings. And before you know it, you're stuck on stupid, wishing and highly regretful that you did not give it a chance. You did not even try. You shut it down before it could have even gotten anywhere. So be careful because a lot of y'all, you know, y'all are going to have that result of looking back like, damn, yeah, he was great. And it could have been something beautiful. And I see him thriving now. I see that he's doing great and wonderful things now, but, you know, he's not in my reach. It, it, he's not in my grasp. And so, yeah, a lot of you females are exactly like this female that we just showed to where you're like, oh, yeah, my ex was great. He was an awesome guy. He was amazing. Just wasn't for me. But why wasn't he for you? Did you want somebody that was dogging you out? Did you want somebody that was cheating on you, disrespecting you? Because a lot of y'all thrive off of toxicity and you're not honest with yourself about that. And I'm really tired of you all turning around and looking up and looking back like, damn, I should have held on tight to what I had. All right. That is my dope discussion. So y'all let me know. Uh, can you relate? Fellas, have you been in that situation to where you were a, a great, amazing guy and it, she just did not want you? She rejected you. She pushed you away. And, you know, did she come back? You know, was she regretful about it? Um, ladies, have you been that woman to where you rejected a, a guy and he was a great catch, but something within you was off and you needed to do some self-work? You know, let, let us all know. We would love to hear you all's feedback. But again, you all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And please, ladies, do not let that regretful, remorseful, pitiful woman be you. When you have a good man, hold on tight to him because that is a privilege. That is a luxury. Much love and peace.